Joining us, we begin tonight with news a private boarding school for troubled girls in Polk County has closed. It comes two years after a 17 year old died there. She'd been asking to see a doctor for weeks, but died without ever receiving real medical care. Fox 13's Ken Swartz is live from the Lakeland Girls Academy with more on the fallout. Ken. Well, I can tell you after Naomi Wood died at this place, the student population got lower and lower and lower. And presumably as a result of that, the organization, the national organization that runs the place called Teen Challenge, just decided to close it. Naomi Wood was 17 years old, bubbly and full of smiles. I miss her hand, you know, grabbing my hand and, and hearing her voice say, Dad, <laughs> um, probably the most. Naomi died while under the care of Lakeland Girls Academy, a place where troubled teens came for help. After a firestorm of controversy, it just closed. Her family says it was long overdue. The bottom line is she was neglected and there's a good chance she'd be alive today had they actually taken action and took her to a doctor. Back in 2020, Naomi had stomach pains for weeks and kept asking to see a doctor. Instead, she was repeatedly given Pepto-Bismol and died. The head of Florida's child protective team wrote her death was consistent with delay in seeking care and medical neglect. The Polk Sheriff's Office launched an investigation. No one was charged criminally. However, Naomi's story encouraged former students to tell their stories about what was life at the school. Grace Coburn and others described living under unyielding rules and in isolation. We had no way of calling anyone on our own, getting help for ourselves. We were all of our abilities to access the outside world were completely taken away from us. The school's disciplines, such as shunning, also came under fire. Naomi is gone, so is Lakeland Girls Academy. But Teen Challenge, which runs schools like this all over the country, is still operating them. Teen Challenge needs to take a look at their medical protocols, number one, first and foremost. Wood says, so what happened here hopefully doesn't happen anywhere else. Teen Challenge doesn't have any comment about this particular place being closed down, but I can tell you the attorney for the family, for Naomi's family, says that they plan to file a civil lawsuit against Teen Challenge here in Polk County by the end of the week. All right. Ken Suarez reporting live. Thank you.